Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday morning. I came in, answered emails, and responded to offers. And I had a return request. The, they said an item arrived damaged. And it's a Funko Pop, one of the big ones. It was one of the uh, Hulk, Gladiator Hulks. And uh, his hammer is broken off. But that was shipped through the Global Shipping Program. And when the buyer has the picture, they're showing a picture like they just opened the top of the box and they never removed the pop. There's no padding around there. And when I shipped it out, I had bubble wrap all around it. So I called eBay this morning because that's supposed to be the advantage of using the global shipping program is that once it gets to Kentucky, I'm done. And uh, the person said they could not do anything because this case was opened... I think she said in Canada. So she's contacting Canada eBay people, and then I'm supposed to find something out in a day or two. So we'll see how this progresses and see, you know, if I get covered or not. But in the meantime, right now we have seven packages to do, so let's get to it. All right, we're starting the day with comic book orders. Then housing. Yeah, right there. We need this to be a fine minus to a fine, which is the top one here. We can relist. Our next one is a Betty Page. Ah, Betty Page. It is a photo cover. Hmm. Got tons of these. All right, very fine. Hmm, nope. All right, that one there is a very fine. So we can relist that one as well. Oh, I need one for photos this one was on a old background was not the white background that ebay prefers all right let me get these two bagged and boarded We will start with the Van Helsing versus Dracula, issue number five, cover A. And we will put, uh, we will ship that in a Gemini mailer. We'll tape it down so it doesn't move around. And the Van Housing versus Dracula sold for two dollars and thirty-five cents plus shipping, and it has been listed since January the tenth of last year, twenty twenty. Oh, it'd help if I turn the scale on. Let me go ahead and put uh, mark this one. All right, it'll ship at the eight ounce rate. And now we have the Betty Page. Issue number eight, cover C. This is the photo variant cover. And we will ship that in Gemini Mailer. Tight 
tape it on down. Both of these comic books can be relisted. The Betty Page photo cover comic book sold for four dollars and seventy five cents plus shipping, and it has been listed since November the 27th of 2018, and it will ship at the eight ounce rate as well. Okay, now we have a couple more comic books. First one is Furlough, issue number eight. One of those anthropomorphic uh, comic books. Published by Antarctic Press. We will be shipping it in a Gemini mailer. Keep it on down. Issue number eight, sold for six dollars and thirty-five cents plus shipping. It has been listed since May the 29th of 2019, and it will ship at the eight ounce rate. Now we have Nightwing Secret Files and Origins, issue number one, published by DC, and this will also ship in a Gemini mailer. Keep it in the place. And then the Nightwing comic book sold for three dollars and thirty five cents plus shipping. And it has been listed since October the 15th of last year, 2020. And it will ship at the 12 ounce rate. All right, now we have another model kit that was in that terrible, terrible condition. And I just kept the top of this box, even though it's all falling apart. I've already taped up our priority mail shoe box. So we will take a sheet of bubble wrap, cut it in half, fold this one twice and put it at the bottom. And now I think on this, without the bottom of the box, we might use two pieces of bubble wrap. We'll see. No movement going on. And we'll fold and roll this part and put it right there on the top so it holds it nice and snug. There's no movement to go around. And 
And this one, the Beat Neck Bandit 2, sold for $15.25 plus shipping. And it has been listed since June the 22nd of this year, 2021. And we'll ship, we'll do it at the one pound rate. And now we have a DVD. So we need an 864 box. And let's get half a piece of the big bubble wrap. No morning mail pickup yet, so I'm trying to get these done so he can pick them up. Let's see, right there it is. Connie and Carla. It is new and sealed. did get a negative on one of these new and sealed dvds i think it was yesterday they uh said their dvd the one number one would not play and they didn't say anything to me they just gave me a negative so that's the way life goes uh this connie and carla dvd sold for nine dollars and 15 cents with free media mail shipping and was listed on may the 22nd of this year 2021 and it will ship at the eight ounce rate Okay, we sold another model kit. Uh, Dick Landry 68 Dodge Dart with figure. This one has been opened. Yeah. Get it open. There you go. I might go ahead and put this half a bubble wrap right on the top. Just It didn't sound like it was moving much, but this way it doesn't move at all. We are going to ship it in a Postal mail shoe box. Now we need to get a sheet of bubble wrap. We'll cut this one in half. Fold, fold, put in the bottom. Now we'll get a sheet to roll the model kit up in. Add on in there, and then this one we fold in half and then roll and put on top so it prevents movement. Alright, this model kit sold for $41.75 plus shipping and has been listed since June the 14th of this year, 2021 and will ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. Now we have a baseball card and we'll ship it in an 864 box. Oh, I'll take it. And we'll need to get a sheet of bubble wrap, cut it in half. Alright, let's I have a semi-rigid here that I'll put the card in. Alright, there we go. Alright, 
It is Luis Urias uh, from the San Diego Padres. It is his rookie card, and that's his real signature on it. I don't think these are numbered, but you, it is in the blue ink. I think you also had some that were in red ink, I think. And so we'll carefully put this in to this semi-rigid. And the card is in a soft sleeve. And then we're going to put it inside this postcard mailer. And we'll lay it right on down in there. Fold and roll this one. Tuck all these loose edges. And put this right on top. It applies a little bit of pressure onto the postcard mailer. But not very much. But it should be enough pressure just to keep the card from moving inside it. And this person came quite a bit on their offer. I had it listed for $21.75 with free shipping. And uh, somebody had offered like five bucks the other day and they declined my counter. This person offered $8 and I countered at $18.75 and then they accepted and paid. So I got $18.75 with free first class shipping. This card's been listed since October the 21st of last year, 2020. And it will ship at the four ounce rate. Now we have a pair of pan, a pan, tan Ralph Lauren polo uh, pants. And these feel thicker. I'm not sure I'll be able to put these in a, a priority padded envelope or not. We'll see. I fold them up. And put them in a tie-back envelope to begin with. Alright, now I'm going to get rid of the cardboard. Now I'm getting a priority padded envelope. side to side with these. Let's hope it's not too long. Yeah, I think I can get this to fit. Yeah, really press down and roll it sometimes. There we go. Not exactly too sure how difficult it'll be for them to open, but I'll tape it down to so make sure it doesn't open up and then I tape the ends just so they don't you know rip open <clears throat> this is just extra this is a padded flat rate envelope so we do not have to worry about weighing it and these pants sold for ten dollars plus shipping and they've been listed since August the 15th of 2017 and now we have another cross stitch kit this one's by Sunset, and it's called the Garden Gate. And uh, I remember when I very first listed that, I had a person give me an offer of like 10 bucks less. Like, instantly. Within just a, maybe an hour of me listing it or something, they offered $10 lower than my asking price. And I was like, no, oh, that was real quick. Let me wait. Well, I should have taken it. But that's how, I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes that you get an offer right off the bat and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, this must be popular, you know. And when I looked, of course, I mean, I didn't just pull the, make up the number out of my head for what I was listening to for. But we used an eBay poly mail bag and put it in there. This sold on the sale that I'm doing for $19.16 plus shipping. And I think the offer I got right after I listed it was like 35 bucks. Uh, it's been listed since July the 31st of 2018, and it will ship at the 8-ounce rate. Okay, we sold a set of the bigger floor speakers, and this is the ADS. Uh, let's see, flip it around here. There you go. ADS 
11, 7, 10. I've already done up one of the speakers. And now I'll do this one. That one, I wanted to do it, make sure I knew I was, what I was doing so it wouldn't take me too long on this one. I always, on these bigger floor speakers, I always send them in individual boxes. Uh, it's not worth the hassle, and they are heavy. In a one box, they can hit each other. It's really hard to find a box big enough for two with enough padding. So I always send them in individual boxes. Uh, now what I did is I took the bicycle cardboard and I cut a piece that I will put on the back. And then I also put a piece here on the front to cover the grill and protect that. And what I'm going to do is oops, take the speaker, lay it down on here, the back will go on. Then I'll put the top one on, and then I'll wrap the bubble wrap and secure it. I use five sheets of bubble wrap here. And then the bottom will be looking at me right here, and I'll take uh, two sheets and fold them in half and put them on the bottom. And then I'll set it into the box. And then I'll come back. Okay, so I have the speaker, like I said, five sheets of bubble wrap to wrap it all around. And then on the bottom, I take one sheet of bubble wrap and fold it in half, and it fits over this, and I tape it, and I put that at the bottom. And then, as you can tell, here's the grill of the speaker. So this is obviously the front, this is the back. And for the front and back, I take two sheets of bubble wrap and fold them in half. Then I fold them in half again, and then I roll this nice and tight. And then it fits right here into the side. And I put one down toward the bottom and one up here at the top. And then on the other, the actual sides of the speaker, I just take a single, let me get a single sheet of bubble wrap. Okay, I take a single sheet of bubble wrap, fold it in half, in half, and then one more time in half. And then you, it fits right in there. And I have one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top on the side. So I do, I do not put the middle one on the front and back because it's pretty tight with these two rolled up. So I'm going to finish this part off, and then when I come back, we'll, we'll get the top part taken care of. All right, there we go. And as you can see, it really doesn't move around at all. So now we take two sheets of bubble wrap, fold them in half, and in half. And that covers the top of the speaker really well. And then I take another single sheet and fold it in half. And put it like that. And so now, when the lid closes, it is firm against this bubble wrap holding the speaker in place. And so now I'll just tape it up, I'll throw this one on the scale, and come back. Okay, that is the finished product. As you can see, I use a U-Haul large box, which is 18 by 18 by 24. And it weighs under 37 pounds. So I'll probably put this on for like 38 pounds, 15 ounces, just to cover myself. And I do have two. And so what you do with eBay is you print your first label... And then you have to go back to your sold listings, find this listing, and click print label. And it'll say something like, you've already printed a label. Do you want to do again? And then I click yes, and I just print out another label. So they will get two separate tracking numbers, and I get charged for each box. Now, this pair of speakers sold for $510 plus shipping and was listed on June the 24th of this year, 2021. So it only took about a week for these to sell. And so, like I said, they'll, they'll ship at the 38 pound, 15 ounce rate for each box. Okay, now we sold this other Hot Toys figure. I might have to step, put it down the table and step back. But it is the Elizabeth Swan figure from Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Remember we uh, shipped out the Jack Sparrow the other day. There you go, that's Emma Swan. She is complete, but was displayed. 
We're putting there in a 1612 8 eBay branded box. Three pieces of bubble wrap this way, one this way. Let's see. Now, lay that bubble wrap right there. And I'll take this piece. Yeah. Apparently it cannot hold it in thirds. And I think it's doing fine right there. I might try see if I can put these little pieces in as well. There we go. Alright. And that's the last of the hot toys. And they both sold very, very well, I thought, for loose, open figures, you know. The Emma Swan figure sold for $320 plus shipping. And it's been listed about two weeks. I listed Emma here on June the 16th of 2021. Nope, need to turn my scale on. And she will ship at the three pound, 15 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a fun couple of Funko Pops. One loose. There he is. Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I said, he is loose. We're going to ship him in an 864 box, which I've already taped up. And then we get a sheet of bubble wrap and cut it in half. Wrap him up in half of it. And take the other half and just lay it in the box. Now fold up the sides and put him in diagonally. That doesn't really matter, I don't think. But that's how I do it. And we had a little flurry of Funko Pop sale this afternoon. Drax here sold for $7.35 plus shipping. And he's been listed since September the 1st of last year, 2020, and will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Drax. And now we have a Spider Man number 265 right here. This is from the uh, Homecoming movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, number 265. Looks like he's in a lab coat or raincoat. And it does have like a little dinged up corner here and here. And like I said, I always put, I mean, I take pictures of the actual item and put box has defects. We use a sheet of the small bubble wrap. There we go. And the Spider-Man pop sold for $20.90 plus shipping. It has been listed since June the 22nd of this year, 2021. So it took about nine days to sell. And it will also ship at the 8-ounce rate. Okay, now we have this postcard. It's a Christmas one, obviously, but Santa's in a spaceship, UFO. And as you can see, when they put the stamp on it, it overlapped the edge of the card a bit. Looks like it was posted in Paris, France, and shipped back to the U.S., 1956. We are going to put this in a postcard mailer. It is going in an 864 box, and I've already put the half a bubble wrap piece on there. So we just put this here, tuck, fold, and tape. Alright, 
Santa in the UFO postcard. Sold for $19.48 plus shipping. And it's been listed since December the 23rd of last year, 2020. And it'll ship at the 4 ounce rate. Let me write postcard on this. Because now we have another Funko Pop. I've got the A64 box and the sheet of small bubble wrap. And it is number 222. All right. From the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, again, this is number 222, Spider-Man in his homemade costume or suit. Again, this, this corner has a little bit of a ding. You got a little bit of a crease or something right here. But like I said, I always put with box defects. We fold these on over. And like I said, we had the little flurry of it. We sold four pops in like ten minutes. Still waiting to get paid on one of them. Alright, this Spider-Man pop sold for $13 plus shipping. And it was also listed on June the 22nd of this year, 2021. So about nine days to sell. And it will also ship at the 8-ounce rate. Now we have a person that bought uh, 10 Walking Dead comics. And it's Walking Dead issues 121 to 130. And so I'll just hold up two at a time so you can see the covers. And this way this person could read the whole storyline, you know, 10 issues in a row. And I can do this listing one more time. It's the issue 122 that I'm running out of. There we go. We're going to put these in a tie-back envelope. And now we'll get two sheets of bubble wrap. afternoon mail pickup just came by and it's kind of funny because I guess my regular morning mail carrier is off today uh, we're going to use a regional rate a box and so his substitute just came by at like 115 or 130 and I thought man I didn't know it was the morning guy I thought this is really early for the afternoon pickup and now here it is a little bit before three in the afternoon guy shows up so I had two pickups in two hours but it worked out all these that we've done up he was able to take and they'll get out of here all right it poofs out the box a little bit so when you shake it you know it's not moving at all the walking dead run sold for $40.99 plus shipping and it has been listed uh, let me move my phone since October the 11th of 2017 and like I said it's a regional rate A box we're nowhere near the weight limit so we do not have to weigh it now we also sold a Battle of the Planets issue number one with a Mark Silvestri cover this is going to go in a Gemini mailer We'll tape it down so it doesn't move around. And this Battle of the Planets, issue number one, sold for $1.95 plus shipping. And it has been listed since June the 2nd of this year, 2021. So it took about 30 days for this one to sell. 
and it will ship at the eight ounce rate. All right, that is going to do it for me today. It's an early day. I'm going to go ahead and take those speakers down to FedEx, drop those off, and then I'm renting a machine to take to the house that's supposed to eat up the adhesive for the tile. Hopefully that works because it's getting old trying to bust that up. Uh, so yeah, I'll work on that tonight. But I hope you all have a good night, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more packages. Bye-bye.